Welcome back to the channel, guys. Here with NCA 06. I'm not gonna lie, I'm kind of a little bit down. This is gonna be the final episode of this series, guys. We did what we wanted to. We accomplished winning the Heisman Trophy with Daniel Mock as a sophomore. So we have one more game left to play this season, and then we're gonna move on to NCA 07. Uh, but before we do that, after we're done playing in the All-State Sugar Bowl against Florida, I'm gonna simulate his junior and senior season. We're gonna see if the dorm room changes, read all the fan mail, and see if he gets any different girlfriends. Thank you so much for watching. If you're new, hit that like and subscribe, guys, because we are on the road to 1,000 subs. Let's go ahead and get started with today's game. We're going up against number three, Florida, who is 11 and two. Hi, everybody, Brad Nessler, along with my partners, Kirk Herbstreet and Lee Corso. The crowd is filling up the dome, and we're just about ready for the Texas A&M Aggies and the Florida Gators. Happy New Year from all of us at EA Sports. This one should be a fun game to watch. And here come the Gators. If you compare these teams on paper, they really look to be pretty equal. Kirk, what do you think? Florida is going to attack this defense in the air. And I'll tell you, this is the key to the game. If their quarterback has time to throw, he'll have a huge game today against that vulnerable secondary. I got to have to go with them, too. That's right, Gator fans. I know you don't believe it. I'm taking the Gators. Now, that looks good on you, Lee. Anyway, let's send it down to the field. Get in there, boys. Come on. Oh, he's going to the outside. No, sir. There we go. We got to stop. They're going to have to punt. Find him. There we go, Mock. Nice catch. Can we get Mock open? No. L1 was open. Why did I throw it to Coleman? D played great last year. He's getting a three and out. Let's see if we can do the same right here. Get pressure. Get pressure. Don't let him out of the pocket. Ooh, who is that guy? Hartman, dude. He's got some wheels. Stuff it up. Stuff it up. All right, another punt. There we go. Big number 96, baby, getting that tackle. All right, come on. Oh, we got to get something going here. We can't have another three and out. Get it, Coleman. You got some room to run. Mark's got the sideline blocked for you. Nice juke. First down. Having to punt the ball again, man. Neither offense is getting anything going early. Is he going to try to run with that? Let's go, Armstrong. Let's go. Get off your guy. Get there. Get there. Get there. No, sir. There we go. Another punt, baby. AM defense holding up. Let's go. Come on, Coleman. We got a good chance right here to get some yards returning the ball. Oh, go, 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 go. Get down that sideline, baby. Oh, my gosh. I cannot believe I actually did that move, man. That was sick. Out of baby COVID. Oh, my gosh. You got to be kidding me. A flag? Clipping. Oh my gosh. That legitimately was probably the best play in this entire series right there. And we get a freaking flag. Our boy Mox feeling it, man. He's pulsating. So we're going to throw it up to him over here. A little play action. Draw the coverage in. And then throw it over the top. Ooh. Make a play. Make a play. Ooh. Out of baby mock, man, right in front of the pylon. Dude, nice throw and catch. All right, D, let's just keep doing what we've been doing, baby. Get another stop right here. Another three and out. Come on, Jackson. Oh, little quarterback draw. No, sir, baby. Big sack for Hunter. Oh, they're going to try to get out wide. No, that's a pick. No! Williams, come on. You got to get that. Oh, direct snap. What is that, the fullback? There we go. Armstrong. Nice tackle for loss. Let's go, D. We got this third and eight. Yes. Nice job, Jacobs. Okay, they're going for it right here. We got our middle linebacker, Jacobs. He is pulsating. He might come through with an interception or something right here if we can get him in coverage. He's got time. Come on, somebody get over there. Get some pressure on him. No, 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 no. Who's got the first down? Okay, I guess if they're showing us an animation, we got the ball back. Defense got the stop. 
Offense, let's go. Oh, we got some room. Oh! Dang it! Oh, run away, Mock, run away. Good job, baby. This is not going to work out. Direct snap is going to be horrible right here. Ooh, never mind. Good block, Mock. Two blocks. Yes! That's all because the Mock got the edge. Coleman's now pulsating, so we're going to give him the rock one more time out wide. He's definitely going to break at least one tackle. Uh-oh. Defense is shifting over. Oh, man. Come on, Coleman. You're supposed to make an impact play right there. Underneath. Ooh, nice catch, Daniels. I'm just going to wait till it gets to, like, two seconds and call a timeout so we throw one deep. Game's going by quick, man. Last play of the half right here. Suck him in. Oh, they're playing good defense right there. Oh, my gosh. Daniel still comes down with it. What the heck? Triple coverage. You got to be kidding me, man. Florida giving up a touchdown like that? Dude, there's no reason he should have caught this right here, man. Number 22 for Florida just did not play that good in the air. It's always nice when you score right before the half and then you get the ball right back to start the second half. Oh, go. Go, Coleman, go. Oh, get through that. Yes, another first down. What the heck is going on? Uh-oh, bad throw, even worse interception. Off the deflection. Oh, man, that was exactly what Florida needed to get back in this game. Oh, direct snap. Get that, get that, baby. There we go. What are they going to do? Fourth down. Are they going to kick a field goal or are they going to go for it? Florida's looking to get some points on the board, choosing to kick the field goal. Just in case they try to do anything tricky. Kick is up. It is good. No good. Wow. That is usually automatic. Get in there, Coleman. Nice. Way to bounce it. Ooh, see you, baby. Spin move is working. One thing I don't do enough in this game is screens. Oh, and they're bringing some pressure. But they're playing the screen really well. We're going to lose yards on this one. Oh, my gosh. I think we lost like 10. All right, Mock, we got to get it all back right here. Hitting you on that post. No blitz. Got time. Yes. Dude, money right there. Playing zone, that play is always money. Do a little option. We don't do option very much. Ah, get it right back. McGee picks up his own pitch. Get in there. Get in there, Coleman. Is that a first? I think we got it. No, we lost yards. Still fourth and one. Not confident in field goal, so we're going for it. Fullback dive, baby. Get in there, fullback. Oh, my gosh, dude. A freaking wall was right there. Couldn't get one yard. Get there, Rose. Oh, get the pick. Get the pick. That's fine. It's a deflection. Better than what I could do. Come on, Jacobs. Big play right here. You're in the zone. Don't let him get the first. Ah. Oh. Get there, Rose. Nope. Oh, Johnson. Uh-oh. Dang it. Somebody tackled this man. Oh, get him down. There we go. All right. Sack, baby, by Johnson. We need a big play from you, Jacobs. Come on. Under pressure, another sack. Woo! Third and 18, we're dropping everybody back. And we still get the sack. That's definitely a coverage sack right there. We dropped nine. All right, Coleman, it's all you right here, baby. Come on, just run the clock out. Oh, oh, truck stick. Third and 11, we're going to our money play right here. Post to mock. They're playing zone. Come on, man. In real life, you know there's no way that that linebacker is able to jump up that high to deflect the ball. 
Got a guy wide open, 15 yards behind him, and he's able to jump up to deflect it. They get this one off, and it's a beauty. It's a good kick. Big hit, Morris. I think we literally took like 15 seconds off the clock on offense. You're not making no play today. Going down, Sullivan, another sack. Is that literally four sacks in a row? This is it right here, fourth and 15. They don't get this, it's over. Come on, Rose, get pressure. Oh, yeah. Well, oh my gosh, I missed the tack when they get a first down. Still life for the Gators. Get over there, Williams. Oh my gosh, I messed up again. Oh, get there. Oh, Jacobs. That was your chance to get a pick. Get him, get him. Oh, come on, pick that off. Pick that off. Oh my gosh, you've got to be kidding me right there. Williams. I didn't even pick you so that you could make the pick. Wow, you just got mossed. That's it. We're not going to have to call another play. We're just going to let this clock all the way tick down to zero. That's it, baby. We've won the Sugar Bowl. And that's pretty much going to do it. Any final thoughts on this one, Coach? Well, this one had me on the edge of my seat all game long. Texas A&M really got all they asked for and more in this contest. Great job by both teams. The fine folks at EA Sports, thank you for tuning in to this contest of NCAA Football 2006. The final score, Texas A&M 14, Florida 7. We hope you enjoyed this game as much as we enjoyed bringing it to you. So long, everyone. I'm not going to lie, that was pretty uneventful after the uh, first half. Mocking it up with five catches, 131 yards, two touchdowns. The only two touchdowns of the game for the Aggies. Ooh, that's a nice-looking trophy right there. Congratulations, Texas A&M has won the Sugar Bowl. Oh, looks like we got a new girlfriend after winning the Sugar Bowl, baby. Okay, she definitely looks like she's been doing some modeling. I'm not going to lie. She does not look like she's in college anymore. It looks like a full-grown woman. All right, guys, we're going to advance to the offseason. See you at the start of Daniel Mock's junior year. All right, guys, here we are. Junior year. I'm liking the setup, man. This is definitely looking more going towards adulthood. The last couple years have been more like still having that college vibe. This looks like a legit, like bachelor pad man you got the nice laptop on the bed you know you got the leather couch i mean he's definitely rocking it man he's growing up big junior year and well 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 there we go got a new girlfriend yeah this girl definitely looks like a junior or senior and uh she's got a lot to work with i'm not gonna lie Let's see what daniel is as far as ratings wise what is he going into his junior year he is a 94 overall that speed is still a 91 man that kills me uh, awareness is getting better, obviously, just because he's getting older at 89. Agility, 92. Acceleration, 95. Catch is a 92. Jumping is a 90. Break tackle, that's nice, 72. Uh, everything else is garbage. But, uh, yeah, so 94 overall now. And like I said, guys, since we've already won the Heisman, there's really no reason to play this season. And I've got to get to a lot more games. So what we're going to do is we're going to simulate his junior year and his senior year. I know we could go pro after his junior year, but I'm gonna hold out and play through his senior year. And I'm just gonna be reading all the different fan mail and seeing if we can win a natty just by uh, simulating games. Before we get started with these games, let's just go ahead and look at the fan mail this year. Yo, Daniel, you are the greatest. Those other guys can't hold a candle to you. You are head and shoulders above everyone else. It is ridiculous how much better you are than the rest of the competition. You really are a man amongst boys out there. Later, Ryan Forrest. Well, thank you, Ryan. I appreciate that. All right, so after simulating those two bye weeks, we're sitting at number four right now. Miami is still number one. Let's go ahead and look at some more fan mail this week. To Daniel, with each passing game, you are cementing your place in history as one of the best ever. Before long, any discussion of who is the best ever will begin and end with you. Keep it up from Rob Staples. All right, well, let's see if we can win this game. Dang, guys, we beat Miami 38-33. to We're now number one in the nation. Whoa, man, I cannot believe it. Uh-oh, got a new girl. <laughs> Woo-wee. I don't know about that one. I can't take that one to the parents, that's for sure. She got to stay back. Greetings, Daniel. In all my years, I've never seen a player quite like you. 
Just when I think I have seen everything, you do something that totally blows me away. Whoever is lucky enough to draft you will be in for a heck of a player. So being number one didn't obviously last very long. We get beat by Georgia Tech 47 to 27. Goodness gracious. Looking at more fan mail. Howdy, Daniel. It is an exciting time to be a fan. Not only do we have one of the best teams in the country, we also have the best player in the nation. Good luck and strike a Heisman post for me in your next game. Okay, so we bounce back and put a beat down on Baylor, winning 38 to nothing. Now we're number four in the nation. It was some more fan mail says, Hey, Daniel, I have to admit it. I was skeptical at first about a player with such promise getting the starting nod from day one. But man, was I wrong. You are the real deal. A Heisman caliber player through and through. I couldn't be happier about my mistake. Keep it up. Okay, guys, so things are starting to get interesting. We were able to win against Oklahoma State 34-28. to We're number three in the nation at 3-1. and one. Looking at some more fan mail. Hey, Daniel, please don't go to the pros. This team needs you. You are an icon in the face of the program. There has never been a player quite like you at this school. If you come back, a Heisman Trophy will help you be remembered as the greatest of all time. Best of luck, Eric Rivers. I already have one Heisman, dude. How many do I need? A&M is rolling out, man. Three-game win streak. Another win against Texas Tech, 47-41. to Up next, number four, Nebraska. Looking at fan mail. Yo, Daniel, one more year, one more year, one more year. So... All this fan mail has definitely started to change into we got to have you stay. Stay after your junior year. I know you want to go pro, but stay. Dang it, we end up losing to Nebraska. It was a close game, though, 27-24. to 24. Nebraska is now number two, and we're back all the way down to number 10. Now, we did lose, but we ended up getting a new girlfriend still. I guess our play on the field is still pretty good at this point. More fan mail. Greetings, Daniel. Forget all conference or all American for you. They need to create an all world team. It would be disrespecting your abilities to place you in the same breath as these other yahoos. Okay, now we're going downhill quick. Lost to Kansas 27 to 20. We're now number 19th in the nation. Went from number one all the way down to number 19. Wow. Checking out that fan mail for this week. Hello, Daniel. I couldn't be happier with how you have developed so far. You are no longer the gangly, awkward freshman that showed up on campus a couple of years ago. Now you are the very definition of a Heisman candidate. Absolutely amazing. And we've definitely taken a turn for the worse. Lost three in a row. This time to number five, Oklahoma, 44 to 14. Wow, not even close. Now four and four on the year, not even ranked. Aloha, Daniel. Everywhere I go, I see people wearing your jersey. You really have become an icon of college football. I can't wait until you get to the pros and have your own shoe line. I will definitely buy a pair of those kicks. Finally, we get a win, man. Beat Missouri 41-17. to Of course, they're 2-8, and eight, so that's not saying much. Hi, Daniel. When it's all said and done, you are going to go down as the greatest player to ever walk through these hallowed halls. What you have been able to do here is simply mind-blowing. You are the best. These Aggies are killing me, man. Now we lost to Tulane, 21-17. Now we're back out of the top 25. We are sitting at 5-5 five and five right now. And guess what? We've got to beat the number one team in the nation, the Texas Longhorns, just to go to a ball game. We did get a new girlfriend. Oh, oh my gosh, jeez. Talk about draft night material. This girl looks like she's ready to get a pro daddy. This girl's probably whispering in my ear, hey, baby, let's go pro. You can spend money on me. She definitely looks like a gold digger. That's the only reason she's with me right now. Last game of the season? You know she's wanting me to go pro. Dear Daniel, I wish you good luck for the rest of the season, but luck doesn't have anything to do with it. You are without a doubt the most naturally gifted player in the college game today. It is a true joy to be able to watch you dominate the opposition each week. You have got to be kidding me, Texas A&M. You go out and you beat the number one team in the nation, the Texas Longhorns, 28-17. to You have beaten two number ones this season, and yet you are sitting at 6-5. and five. What the heck? Hi, Dana. Now when people talk about the all-time greats, they're going to mention you along with them. You are such a sensational player. There is no doubt in my mind that you will be just as good at the next level as you have been in college. Congratulations, you have received a bid to play in the Independence Bowl in Shreveport, Louisiana. We're going to be playing against Ole Miss, who is 7-4. Well, we didn't win the Heisman back-to-back -back years, that's for sure. Uh, not even on the board. Howdy, Daniel. In my estimation, you are the greatest to ever lace up the cleats. I'm trying to come to grips with the fact that it is probably the last year that I will have the privilege of you being on the team before bolting to the pros. 
Please don't go yet. Congratulations, Texas A&M has won the Independence Bowl. Wow, that's a great looking trophy. Not. And at this time, I could go to Madden 06, but no, we're gonna continue the college career. And looks like we're starting to cycle through girlfriends now. We had her last year. This time exactly, so let's see if she's our girlfriend starting next season. Before we do that, got one last fan mail to check. Hello, Daniel. I pity those other coaches that have to try to figure out a way to contain you. I don't even know why they bother anymore. It's almost a foregone conclusion that no matter what they plan and conspire to do, you will still be able to do your thing. So let's see how Daniel did his junior year anyways with stats. Wow, didn't even break a 1,000 yards receiving. Are you kidding me? Six touchdowns. 58 catches. That is garbage, man. He only had two drops, though. Did he get any awards? No. No awards at all. Rating is now a 96. It's just the awareness that keeps going up. The speed stays the same. Yeah, it's pretty much awareness and catching. Those are the only two things that keep going up. All right, guys. Junior year is in the books. Moving on to senior season. All right, guys, so here we are back for Daniel Mock's senior year. A little disappointed that they didn't actually change up his room setup, you know. Basically, he's living in the exact same dorm room or apartment that he had his junior season. I wish they would have done something different here since they did it for all the other years. But anyways, let's go ahead and look at Daniel's attributes. So let's go in the closet right here. So he's rocking with a 98 overall, but that speed is still a 91. They will not give him a speed boost. The only thing that keeps going up is his catching and awareness. Like, that is it, man. And once again, we are cycling through the girlfriends. This is the exact same girlfriend that I had to begin my junior year, man. We're just rotating them girls now. Dear Daniel, pure and simple, you are the best football player in college football history. Not just at, not as, not just at this school, but at any school in any time. Congratulations, you are the person that finally ended the debate of who is the greatest Heisman winner ever. Let's get right into the schedule. It looks to be a little bit easier than last year. There are still some really good teams here. We got number eight, Texas, number three, Oklahoma, number 17, Iowa State, number two, Miami, but everybody else looks beatable. Starting the year at number 12. Let's see if we can get a win against Arkansas State. Okay, so not bad. We got the win against Arkansas State, 49-14, to and we are now number 11 in the nation. Hey, Daniel, thanks for making my vacation planning a lot easier. I wasn't sure where I wanted to go until I heard that you were coming back. Now I have my trip narrowed down to whichever of the four BCS games we will be in. Thanks. See you in January. I hope so, man. Okay, so now we're number 10, 2-0, beat Air Force 35-23. Miami is no longer ranked and they are 0 and 2. To Daniel, oh no, now that you are back for your senior season, it is time to rewrite the record book. No record is safe from your Heisman winning hands. So a and looking good right now, man. Three wins in a row, 35 to 21 against Miami, and then we still have two more beatable games, Army and Kansas State, before we actually start having to play some more ranked opponents. Hi Daniel, you are truly Hi, Daniel. We are truly fortunate to have a player of your abilities on the team. I hope all of the underclassmen are paying attention. They could stand to learn a lot from you. I like the fact that the fan mail is, like, changing. You know, it used to be, you know, you're a high school kid coming here and play well and this and that. And now it's like you're the upperclassmen. So it's like, thank you for staying your senior year. Coach these underclassmen up. It's kind of just a full circle kind of moment. We absolutely destroyed Army 56-6, to man. Right now, we are currently 4-0, number 8 in the nation. Dear Daniel, I guess it is good that college eligibility is only four years, or else you would set records so far out of reach that they would never be broken. As good as you are, they may have to rename the Heisman after you. We just keep winning, man. Take down Kansas State 28-7, to going up against Iowa State, who's number 24th in the nation. And, yep, cycling through that girl again. She must have been a fun time because she's back at it. All right, guys, it's starting to get serious. We beat Ohio State 31-13, to number five in the nation now, 6-0. We still got some tough games ahead of us, but we might be able to run the table here. Howdy, Daniel. I can't believe you came back for this season. I thought for sure you would have jumped shift after the season you had last year. I couldn't be more excited you made the right choice. I am so surprised we're doing this well, guys. Oklahoma State was a good team. 
We beat them 61 to 29. We are now number three in the nation. All right, Daniel. Oh man, those other teams have no idea what they're getting into. I can't wait to see you holding up a Heisman at the end of the season. This year is going to be awesome. Another win for the Aggies, man. We are now ranked number two. Beat Colorado 52 to 38. I gotta check out his stats. How is he doing this year? He only has 39 catches for almost 600 yards, but he has 11 touchdowns this season. Goodness, man. Talk about a red zone threat. Dear Daniel, you could have knocked me over with a feather when I heard the news that you were coming back for a senior year. It is rare these days to see such an elite player stay all four years. Thank you for coming back. It will be a privilege to have you back. Another win, man. 9-0 right now. Number one in the nation. Oh, my gosh. Beat Baylor 31-10. Got Oklahoma, Texas Tech, in Texas, man. Hardest part of our schedule right here, number three, Oklahoma. If we win out, I'm going to say it right now, I'm playing for the uh, Big 12 championship and a national championship. I'm not going to let that be simulated. So if we're able to win out, guys, you will be expecting one more episode. Hello, Daniel. Man, you really are the best, aren't you? There isn't an analyst in the country that doesn't have you as a Heisman finalist and a lock for going in the first round of the draft. Best of luck to you. Well, it does look like my Heisman hype is getting a little bit up there. Are we in the Heisman watch? Oh, wow. Well, nope. Heck, our quarterback and running back are in the Heisman watch. Daniel Mock is nowhere to be seen right now. Everything is falling into place, guys. We whooped Oklahoma 40-21. to well, guys, I hate to say it, but we finally lost a game at home against Texas Tech, 43-40. to That's going to put us at number five in the nation now with only Texas to go. All right, guys, so we might have a chance here. We did beat Texas 41-7. to That's probably got to be the biggest victory a has ever had against Texas. Sitting at number four right now. Oh, and what do you know? Draft Night Girl is back again. The Gold Digger comes back. Dear Daniel, this is the season that launches you into a new category of Heisman Superstar. There have been plenty of pretenders to the throne, but you are without a doubt the greatest player in college football history. Okay, that looks a little better now. 1,200 yards receiving, 16 touchdowns. I like that. That's a lot better. And look at that. Over 1,000 yards after the catch. That's huge. Ho, 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 guys. Look at this, man. Made to the Big 12 championship game, going up against number two, Nebraska. We are number three. I'm going to stop right here. This is where the episode is going to end. I feel like I owe it to myself to play this game. And I'll be playing this game in the next episode. I'm going to do one more. I wasn't originally going to do it, but if the computer is willing to simulate us to an 11 and one record with a chance to go to a national championship, I have to play it. Thank you so much for everyone that watched this video. I know it's a lot longer than most of the other videos that I've put out there, but I appreciate it for each and every single one of you that have stuck it out all the way to the very end. This is going to be a lot of fun. I cannot wait to play this game and then hopefully the national championship. I'm the coach. Hit that like and subscribe, and I'm out.